Hello students, welcome to third session of the unit 2 basic components of hydraulic system which is uh, come under in the course uh, fluid power automation. After completion of this unit, students are able to recognize the concept of different hydraulic actuation element. In this uh, session, I am going to give brief uh, explanation about uh, rock and pinion semi-rotary actuator and chain and sprocket semi-rotary actuator. These are come under in the types of the semi-rotary actuator. Let us move to the topic uh, semi-rotary actuator. Semi-rotary actuator is a device is used for operation of semi-rotation of output shaft for both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction in a constrained manner using a vent. It is commonly used for obtaining the partial revolution actuation. By using of semi-rotary actuator, we can able to maximum angle of rotation is about 270 degree. Let us we move to the topic, the first type of semi-rotary actuator is rack and pinion semi-rotary actuator. As the name is implying that this type of semi-rotary actuator consists of a two main element is a rack and pinion. The schematic representation of the sketch is showing on the screen. The rack and pinion semi-rotary actuator is consists of following parts. The, the, this semi-rotary actuator consists of a single acting cylinder and a stroke adjuster and a 4x3 direction control valve. The single acting cylinder with the piston is an integral part with that we are connecting the rack. This rack is giving the motion to the pinion. The pinion shaft is connected to the end user. This is the basic construction of the rack and pinion semi-rotary actuator. Uh, Let us move to the operation. The rack and pinion rotary actuator is commonly used for obtaining the partial revolution of actuation. This consists of a cylinder with a rack and pinion gear mechanism. By using of this rack and pinion gear mechanism, we are getting the rotary action, means semi-rotary action. The rack gear on the piston rod turns the pinion gear. Here, rack on the piston rod turns the pinion gear, thereby converting of linear motion of piston into the rotary motion, which is transferred to the output shaft. The angle of rotation it uh, mainly depends on the stroke of the cylinder, rack and pitch circle diameter of the pinion. The start and finishing of the stroke is adjusted by means of an internal shaft. How much of rotation is needed for the operation is adjusted by the uh, in an internal shaft. Here the converting of a piston rod movement means linear motion of the piston is into the rotary motion. The rotation of this uh, motion is uh, transmitted to the load through the output shaft. This is the construction and uh, operation of semi-rotary hatchet. And uh, next topic is chain and sprocket semi-rotary actuator. In this uh, chain and sprocket semi-rotary actuator, it mainly consists of following parts uh, which is, which is uh, showing on the screen. It mainly consists of uh, chain, endless chain and sprocket with a main piston and uh, secondary piston. In this design, an endless chain and sprockets are used it is uh, suitable for multiple revolution application. The chain is anchored to the two pistons. One, one is a large and another one is a small. Which when their respective bores separate the, the half of the unit. These two pistons are uh, placed in their respective bores and separate the half of the unit. The larger cylinder is the power cylinder and smaller cylinder is the chain return or seal cylinder. 
it is a main the large cylinder we call it as a power cylinder and a smaller cylinder we call it as a chain return or seal cylinder and an idler is automatically a tensioned one so that the constant tension is maintained in the in the operation when the pressure is applied on to the one port of the actuator the larger cylinder is accumulate the more pressure then the pressure is exerted on to the larger piston when pressure is exerted on to the larger piston it start to move away from the port due to the differential area of the two pistons the movement of the large piston pulls the chain and causing the sprocket and output shaft to rotate like that this operation will be repeat then it will be automatically forward and backward motion will be taken places in that time the movement of the sprocket and output shaft give the partial rotation by this we can able to obtain the rotation the larger piston is move away from the port due to the differential area of the two pistons and the movement of the large piston pulls the chain causes the rotation it means uh, uh, for the forward motion the sprocket will be rotation will be taken places again changing the pressure applied to the opposite direction it will starts to move backward direction again it will be rotating rotation of the sprocket will be taken places there we will get the clockwise and anti clockwise rotation by the movement of the piston in which side the pressure will be applying on the piston this is the operation and construction of the semi rotary actuation systems and after that we are move to the next topic is multiple choice questions here in this topic we are discussed many topics like uh, chain and sprocket semi rotary actuation system and uh, uh rack and pinion semi rotary actuator now based on that one i will ask some uh, multiple choice questions first one is the pinion in the rack and uh, in the, the pinion in rack and pinion semi rotary actuator is connected to the dash shaft it is uh, obviously it is to the output shaft chain and sprocket semi rotary actuator is a consists of dash type it is an endless type of the answer is endless thank you for the participation and listening of some topics in this session thank you thank you very much